So we're going to have a look at a miscellaneous use of um, grammar in Spanish, where we use al and del. Uh, a, a generally means to or at, and de means generally from or of. So why, when does it become al and del? Well, if we use the masculine el, meaning the, then when we put it with the a and the el, it changes and squishes together and becomes al. The same thing happens when we put it with de. We squish the de and the l together and it becomes del. However, it doesn't happen with the feminine or plural form. So if we have a plus la, it stays as a la. A plus los, a los. A plus las, a las. So it doesn't change at all. The same with the de. De plus la, de la. De plus los, de los. De plus las, de las. Okay? So let's have a little bit of practice. Um, generally, and you have to look at my video on um, gender if you want to before this, um, if a noun ends in an O, it's masculine, generally. If it ends in an A, it's feminine, again, generally. If it ends in OS, it's the masculine plural. If it ends in AS, it's the feminine plural. Otherwise, you need to use a, a dictionary to look it up. Okay. So what I want you to do is I want you to put AL, if it's the A plus the L, the a plus the the masculine, a la, a los, or a las in the gaps below. So there's 10 to do. Let's bring the 10 up. Okay, so I put in English to help you a little bit. I went to the museum, so we want to put to the here. We need to work out what this one is here, whether it's a masculine or a feminine noun. And whether we'd use al, which is to the masculine, to the feminine, ala, to the masculine plural, to the feminine plural. What would we put in here? Which one of those would we put here? Again, restaurante, we're going to the restaurant. Um, so again, do we put al or ala, alos, alas? Again, here, I've said that if it ends in O or A, we know whether it's masculine or feminine, more or less. This one ends in an E. So this one you might need to look up in the dictionary. Okay, we went to the church, to the, again, al, ala, alos, alas, and you get the idea the way through. So I put it in English in each case. Sometimes we might admit the, the, we're going, they are going to school, or they're going to the school. So we might admit that, are you going to the town? Okay, so pause it now, have a go, and then when you're ready, play it again, and you'll be able to see the answers. Okay, so let's go over the answers. So let's put al, ala. So the first one was masculine. O on the end generally is masculine. So it's I went to the museum al museo. Next one, restaurante. Generally, if it ends in an E, it's a masculine one. And, and if it comes from an English type word, then again, we tend to say it's masculine. So al, again here, we're going to the restaurant. Iglesia ends in A, so we know that it's feminine. There's a la, to the church. Instituto ends in O, so we know that that's ma masculine. So we have al again. Ciudad is feminine. D-A-D -D at the end of a noun would tell you that it was a feminine one, but you'd be able to find that if you looked it up. A la. So we're going, are you going to the town? Vas a la ciudad. Did you go to the supermarket? Again, O on the end, we know it's masking. Fuiste al supermercado. O again on the end, I went to the castle. Fui al castillo, to the castle. I'm going to go to the shops, tiendas. Well, this one's got an AS on the end, so we know it's feminine. And it's plural because it's got an S on the end. So it'd be alas to the shops. Voy a ir a las tiendas. Vamos a ir al polideportivo. O on the end again, so we know it's masculine, so we'll put al here. We're going to get to the sports centre. Iba al pueblo más a menudo. I used to go to the village more often. Pueblo, having O on the end again, would give us al. Okay, we'll wind it back if you're not sure. And now we're going to have a go at del this time. So this time we need to put 
del, de la, de los, or de las, in the gap. Okay, remember de plus the l, de plus the masculine, the, changes and squishes to del, the rest stay the same. Okay, so 10 to 2, have a look. Okay, so you need to put de, del, de la, de los, or de las. Okay, pause it here, have a go, and then we'll go through the answers. Remember that we're looking at this word here to decide on whether we're putting del, or de la, de las, or de los in this gap here. To mean of the, or from the. Okay, so let's go through the answers. The first one, vistas, AS on the end, tells us it's feminine, una tarjeta de las vistas, a postcard of the views. Una tarjeta del presidente, presidente is masculine, E on the end, remember I said on the last one generally, it's got an E on the end, it's masculine. Una carta del presidente, a letter from the president. So, una foto de la playa, playa. A on the end is feminine, de la in the middle, middle here. You might want to be interested in this one here, foto. I said O oh, on the end generally is masculine. But this comes from a longer word mean set, uh, which is fotografia. But they tend to shorten it to a foto. But fotografia ends in an A. So that's why this one is a feminine one. Another one that does something similar is una moto. Because that comes from motocicleta. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. So this one, Un Libro de los Castillos, a book of the castles, or on the castles. Castles, Castillos, O and S, masculine, feminine, masculine, plural. So we put De los. Next one, Ayuntamiento, O on the end, masculine, una tarjeta del Ayuntamiento, postcard of the town hall. Una tarjeta, una, una, perdón, una carta de la tía en España, a letter from the aunt in Spain, de la tía, tía mean feminine. Paisaje, remember I said y on the end generally is masculine, so un video del paisaje, a video of or on the countryside. Next one, un hombre del campo, a man from the countryside. Campo masculine, got one on the end. Una mujer de la fábrica, a woman from the factory. Fábrica is the word here that we need. Ends in A, so now it's feminine. I'm not sure you're going to be able to see this one, so just, just escape this and so you can see the last one. No, you won't be able to see it on there. Okay, sorry about that. I thought we'd be able to see that. We could just about see at the bottom here. Un chico del colegio. Colegio masculine. A boy of the school or from the school rather. Um, masculine here. Okay, again, rewind back if you're not sure. Um, and then hopefully you've got the idea.